Steve. Burn them! Burn them all! Squash them! Squat them! Kill! 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 No! Come on, Lucian. I'm sure it wasn't that bad. It was if you were one of those ants. Ugh. This can of Hascam Antidote should do it. Let's smoke the critters out. Uh, uh, squash them! Splat them! Mm, die, 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 die! They're so united in their hatred for those poor creatures. Well, ants can be gross, especially when they get in the sugar. Oh, I'm just not like them, Tony. I am not as they are. My mom uses poison, my dad sells poison, and Wayne. Well, Wayne is poison. Maybe you're adopted. Do you really think so? Well, actually, I was only joking, but now come to think about it. I could be the son of a Nobel Prize winning scientist. Or the rightful heir to the imperial throne of a small European principality. Or, or, or... Or your mom and dad might have been circus freaks. <laughs> Lucian? <laughs> been a lot of cramps in this city. Hey, there's a page missing here. What sort of cramp were you, I wonder? So you were in there, huh? Yeah, I'm a cramp, all right. But maybe the missing page will help explain why I'm so different. You should ask my dad. Your dad? Sure, he is quite old, you know. Well. Seems to me you're probably talking about the bad seed. Many years ago, Soap City was a very different place. Everyone did as they was told. Everyone except the bad seed. And his sidekick, Little Hat. They was the meanest, hard-faced, naughty devils this town ever saw. What did they do? Well... They used to bang gates. <laughs> and walk barefoot down Main Street. <gasps> they were bad. Um, Mr. Parsons, the bad seed doesn't actually sound particularly uh, bad. Not now, maybe. But back then, you could get hung for wearing odd socks, and you'd get ten years penal servitude for impersonating a hairdresser. Oh. And he wore a mask, and he was the baddest guy in the whole town. Everybody was scared of him. Huh? He was evil, Wayne. Pure evil. Now, this guy I like. I think I remember my granddaddy talking about him. Yes, well, I might have known the rotten apple would be in your ancestral barrel. Hey, this bad seed guy sounds like me. That's nothing to be proud of, Wayne. Except I can be better. We should learn from history, Wayne, and not simply repeat it. Can it, girl pants? Bad seed, rise again! <laughs> Give me the mail! Oh, okay, little scary guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you hear what happened to the mailman today? This neighborhood is going downhill. I'm the bad seed. Put the ice cream on the tray. Give me that cherry pie. <laughs> Hand over the trifle if you know it's good for you. I'd recognize that voice anywhere. Is that Wayne Crab? Yeah! No! I am the bad seed! Uh, sounds exciting. Need an accomplice, Mr. Seed? Uh, we could be like... like Bonnie and Clyde, or, or Attila the Hun, and... 
Mrs. Hun. Sorry, lady baby. The bad seat don't carry no passengers. Now shut your mouth and give me the trifle. Hey, he got my cake. He got everybody's cake, Lucian. This is getting out of hand. And it's kind of your fault, too, for not leaving your family's shady past buried. My fault? I didn't tell Wayne to revive the bad seed. <sighs> But I suppose I should take some responsibility and try and stop him. Out of the way, lady! Ow! Sorry. Ow! Wayne! Wayne! The name is C. Bad C. What do you want, Flapface? You have to stop this. It's wrong. No one can stop the bad seed. Ha I have laid siege to the donut shop. This is the bad seed. You are under siege. My demands are as follows. One, donuts. Two, more donuts. Three, a helicopter. Okay, I just settled for donuts. This has got to end, Wayne. No, it hasn't. This badness is in my genes. I was born to be bad. It's my responsibility to stop you. Go ahead and try, Flab Face. <laughs> I'm gonna get more armor, too! <laughs> so you didn't have much luck? No. Plus, I also had to pay for the donuts. But I also found this in the Battered Memories antique shop. Wow, my dad must have made that. He always gets the beaks wrong. Yeah, I know. But the lady in the shop told me this one's really old. And look on the bottom. <gasps> it's a hat. So how did you figure it out? That you were a little hat? Well, a carved, stubby-tailed mallard told me. I knew Whitlin would get me in trouble one day. Well, it was the Whitling that told me something else as well. That you were the one who took the missing page from the city records. Lucian? No, it's true, son. Good work, detective. Hey! Dirty Joe! Who do you want, Wayne? I'm not Wayne! I'm the bad seed! And I'm the meanest, nastiest outlaw in the city! Oh! Okay! I need to make myself an armored waistcoat to go with my mask. Can I use this stuff under the trailer? Don't touch the stuff under the trailer, seed head. I'm the bad seed. I do what I want. <laughs> uh -oh. Here's your missing page, Lucian. It's an old front page from the Soap City Gazette, the day they caught the bad seed. Wow, Tony, it looks like you! Nah, not really. His hair's parted different. But why'd you do all those things, Mr. Parsons? What can I say? I was young. So, you stole the picture so that no one would ever know about your past? Not really. I just liked it. It caught my best side. Here, look at the flip side. There's something else you need to know about your ancestor. <gasps> Well, Lucian, he looked like you. But if you're bad, too, who's left to stop the new bad seed from being badder? I'm sorry, Dirty Joe! It was an accident! I promise not to be the bad seed anymore! Please!
life, pal! Oh, I can't believe it. It's her! Peach Polish. Uh, I'm just excited. Rodeo Rita is coming to town. <coughs> that woman can't even sing. Oh. Don't worry, Rita. We'll be there. She's just jealous because she thinks I have a crush on you. Lady and gentle boys, I bring you the yodeling vocal cords of Miss Rodeo Rita. Yodeling is not singing. It is so. It's more than singing. It's the music of the true West. Yodel all. Shut your eyes and picture the wide open spaces. Smell of the cows. The prickly cactus. Uh, Wayne! It sounds like she's being strangled. Exactly. Ha-ha! <gasps> 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 <laughs> 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 uh -huh, very funny. Nobody takes the cowboy life seriously anymore. <laughs> you do, Dad. That's right, son. I do. And so does Rodeo Rita. She's a real roping, riding cowgirl. And it's about time you learn to appreciate it. That's why we're having a Cowboy Week! Uh, ah! Mom! Aw, uh, do we have to? <laughs> cowboy Week or no, I'm still not going to go listen to that windbag in concert. school. You must be ready by now. Mom, uh, we look stupid. Don't be silly. You look great. Wait until the other kids see you. <laughs> hey, cowhead. See? <laughs> What'd I tell you? <laughs> Why is Cowboy Week so long? It just feels long, because it's more embarrassing than any other week of our lives. <clears throat> Shut up and go <gasps> get me a donut, cow pie pants! Dressed like this? Forget it! <laughs> Do you count to Crane Ryan's play? Hey, lady! You need to pay! Pay? Don't you know who I am? Nope. <gasps> okay. How about now? Yodel Oh, yeah. You're Rodeo Rita. But you still gotta pay like everyone else. Hey. Oh, so fat, is liberty. If you're Rodeo Rita, how come you got a car? Real cowgirls don't drive, they ride. <coughs> Ooh, nice duds. I am impressed. Are you boys real cowboys? Mm, no, but our dad told us you ride a bull. Yeah! <laughs> a bull? Don't be disgusting. Bull stink. <laughs> Sausage, anyone? Oh, by grit. I'm a vegetarian, Dad. Uh, uh, cowboy Week stinks! 
<laughs> Never mind. Sometimes real cowboys used to go to sleep hungry, too. But we're not real cowboys, Dad. We're just pretending. It's not pretending to lie back like this and look up at the stars. Please, Dad, there are no stars tonight. Ah! Yeah! And that rodeo Rita only pretends to ride a bull. Now, son, that's just not true. We saw her, Dad. She drives a car. She probably can't even ride. Well, I, I've got a whole drawer full of rodeo Rita pictures, and, and well, there's a bull in every one. You might need a hot cup of something. You know, hun, if it'll make you happy, I'll go see Rodeo Rita with you. And we can make the boys go. We're the parents. Look, there's a kid that called you Cowhead. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Put your hands together, cow people, and give a mighty big welcome to a mighty big yodeler, Rodeo Rita! See the way she walks, son? The true stride of a rider. <laughs> you don't get more cowgirl than that. Sure, yeah. I can do that! <laughs> See, boys, <laughs> what did I tell ya? She rides! Yeah, he's laughing at you. You gonna take that from him? Hey, get back here, you concerned 